We are back here with Mega Man X8, the final game in the franchise, and let's take it away. The endless Reploid rebellions continue. Humans, however, have begun migrations to the moon, thanks to new technology. This plan is called the Jacob Project, and an orbital elevator was built as part of it. Highly advanced new generation Reploids have been brought to the moon's surface to work. This is X. I've encountered an accident while on patrol of the orbital elevator. Dispatch rescue mechanoloids immediately. protect ourselves from damage during the accident. We had to copy a sturdy Sigma body. We new generation Reploids enjoy complete and total immunity to all viruses. So even copying something as dangerous as Sigma provides no risk. Who are you? I'm Luminae. I'm the director in charge of the elevator and of the Jacob project. Warning. Warning. Can't imagine that that would go wrong in any way, copying Sigma. I'm picking up Maverick readings near the Jacob facility. Also, X is just like a oh, rent-a-cop now? Near Point Galapagos, please dispatch immediately. Roger. Just doing patrol. Ready. I also like how he doesn't know who the director is of the entire elevator and the project. Weird. Okay, we got Axel back as a playable character. Research on it, so try to pick up plenty of samples. Got it. Okay, Axel. Let's get going. Ready when you are, X. When you need Axel's help, call him in with a character change. Better watch out, X. I might just steal your spotlight. You two be careful. I'll send Zero over later to give you a hand. Give me a hand. That was definitely a cool intro sequence, though. I enjoyed that a lot. That was probably the better, the best intro sequence since X4. And hey, as a nice surprise, oh god, we have X back as a playable character right from the outset. And these, this jumping action feels really nice. In stark contrast with what they had going on before. We're picking up these, uh, I don't know if these little triangle things are the samples that Helio was talking about. Oh man. X, Axel, I've examined the data on that Maverick. Looks like it grabs its opponents and immobilizes them. If you're grabbed by the enemy, call for a tag assist and help is on the way. I'm assuming that's just a character change. I haven't played Axel yet. God damn it. 
We can just kind of spam him like this, right? You done? Nice. Get out of here. Alia, I got a sample of that Maverick for you. I'd like to start analyzing it right away. Bring it to me as soon as you can. Roger, I'm on my way. Axel, I'm counting on you to clean up. Here. No problem, Max. This will be a snap. X kind of looks uh, a little weird, no? He looks a little skinny. It's those, oh god, those legs. So we can angle his shot now. It's not an auto target, which is definitely a lot better for the freaking game. Because we actually have to think now instead of just mindlessly firing the fuck away. Oh, there's a clamp here. Whoa. Get hurt by all sorts of things that I can't even see. The game looks nice though. Definitely nicer than. X7 where you can't even really see what you're hitting half the time and you can't see where the hitboxes are. Definitely an upgrade from there. Oh god. That pause menu pops up real quick. That's super nice. Uh, and so... Okay. And it just looks cleaner too. And not ugly with the shit little orange. Oh god. Ah! Interesting how they didn't have us uh, play as Zero yet. His Saber would have been really nice here. But they learned from the last game and they made X playable, which is probably the most important part. It's hard to believe that Zero was not playable for the first three games. With how reliant I've gotten on him. Oh, hey! Hello! Speak of the freaking devil. And they made his voice less edgy. Axel's also less annoying. Annoying sounding, at least. We have yet to see. Oh, that saber. Ooh, just that, that streak that it puts in there. That's real nice. I like that quite a bit. What the fuck? You. Show your face. A double attack. Oh, what the fuck? Interesting. I couldn't even see which freaking gauge was full, so I'll have to figure that out at a later point. Oh, it's that that side, it's the gauge on the very left that is now completely black. Nice. Okay. So nice. They're giving us opportunity to play as pretty much each character, which is pretty cool. Why do these things have randomly have like energy around them? Interesting. Ugh. Come on. Come on, you shithead. See, like, why does it have that pink energy rising about it? Hey, what's up? Entrance is above, use the double jump. Okay, so I can't enter this thing. Oh man, I missed the little heal. Whatever. Because this stupid fucking thing knocked me into the, into the door. See, this would have been nice for the bats too. See, now you can see how handy it comes in. Just slash these motherfuckers out. I lost my combo streak.
And we got the dream team back together. Let's go. And it's the ability to have them like switchable between them. That's fucking awesome. What do you want? You can break their barriers full charge shot and then concentrated shots. Interesting. Okay, so that's a full charge. Oh god. That's a full charge shot. But that takes fucking hours to charge. And a hit takes me out of the charge, so that's not what you want. Nice. Yeah, I'll opt out of that fight. Oh god. Oh, okay. I should call you zero because he has the double jump. They always like to have one of these little jump walls in the in the intro stage, huh? Oh, boss door. X zero. Can you hear me? That Maverick signal is getting really close now. According to my analysis, the double attack should work best on this Maverick. When the attack gauge is full, use the double attack. Done. Okay, so it's like a little bit full right now. That's like the return of the boss doors. Because in the previous game, it was just like, hey, here's uh, here's the boss with a fucking long ass loading screen. This whole stage had no loading screen. Think about that. Same dude, right? Same dude we fought earlier. Oh god, okay. Oh, what the fuck? Can I just keep doing this? I can just keep uh, doing this. As long as I don't fucking hit my face on the Maverick. He's like dropping those parts. So I can't go and get them. Am I tripping? Is there a better way to do this? Because I'm only getting in one fucking hit every time. Ah, right. There you go. That gauge takes fucking forever to fill up. I guess I could use the X charge shot. But she was like, oh, the third hit of Zero Saber does the same thing to break barriers, so. That's a little excessive. <laughs> How nice to see you again, X. File! He used to be a Class A hunter, but now he's our sworn enemy. He's a maverick and a wanted criminal. I'd love to stay and play, boys, but I'm afraid I have too much work to do. <laughs> Lumine? That's right. The orbital elevator is under our control now. So is that Lumine doing that or that's Vile controlling her? Just what do you plan to do? It begins now, X. A new world will be born. <laughs> Nice, okay. That was a very, very entertaining first stage. Rank a B, come on. Ugh, okay. 30% complete? Really? Okay. I don't know that there would be anything to like find in the first stage, but I guess there were three items, which usually they keep for the eight main stages. Noah's Park, that was the name of that place. Yeah, so overall, it looked pretty nice. The controls were, especially after X7, a lot tighter. 
and the fact that we get to play as all three characters from the beginning is is a lot of fun. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this game. We'll take on the eight main stages, starting next time.